Hey, what is going on YouTubers? This is Blight here to bring you a 200 subs special. I want to thank all of you for your support. It means a lot and 200 subs is a major milestone for me. I hope you guys continue to watch and uh, I hope you're having fun in these videos. So for the 200 subs special, I decided to do an unboxing or an opening of a lot of packs. Now I don't have a chance to do this often, but these are some packs that I won at a local league. So. I figured why not do an unboxing. We have 14 um, booster packs of Secret Secret Forces and uh, 10 boosters of Secrets of Eternity. <clears throat> uh, lots of good cards in both of these sets, the Necros, uh, Ritual Beasts, Infernoids, whatnot. So hopefully we get some good pulls. I'm going to start off with the Secrets of Eternity and then we'll move on to uh, Secret Forces. <clears throat> With the first few packs, I might go through the comments just to show off some of them, but then later on I will not, so because I don't want this to be a huge, uh, long, boring video. So, without further ado, let's begin, and I hope we get some good pulls. Now, out of Secrets of Eternity, uh, the deck I really would love to build are Infernoids. So, if I get any of their shinies, I mean, their foils, that would be just great. So, <clears throat> first pack, are we going to start off with a hollow? We have Ritual Beast Ambush. Perform Appell Friend Donkey, Perform Appell Spike Eagle, <coughs> Perform Appell Part Naga, Inferno Patrolia, not bad, and Morphotronic Smartphone. So, no uh, foil in this one, but it's okay. And we have Unpossessed. Uh, moving on to the second one, I don't have uh, enough space to uh, put all the uh, commons in, so I'm just gonna. Oh, there it goes. This one wants to be open for some reason. <clears throat> I'm just going to put the foils on the side and the comments are just going to be out of view. Second pack. Are we going to get a foil this time? Would be lovely to get an Inferno and Harmadic because he's one of the better cards in this set. <clears throat> Last minute cancel. Infernoid Atondel. This is a pretty good comment to get, I guess. Piotti. Tenac tenacity of the Monarchs. And we have our first hollow, Good and Evil in the Burning Abyss. This is their ritual spell card. I love the artwork. It shows uh, Dante and Malakota. I guess because Malakota is being born out of Dante's mind or something. So this is our first hollow. Pretty good, I guess. I know a lot of Burning Abyss decks do use the uh, ritual spell at least. Oh, wait, I didn't have to show you the others. Spiritual Beast, Rampengu, Zen Mayday, Go 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 in Golden Form, and Despot 003. <clears throat> so far so good, one good hollow, but can we make it even better? Can we get a secret, ultimate, or even better, ghost? Can Stellar Twinkle, Recreate, Performer Pal Stamp Turtle, Performer Pal Part Naga, Farfa Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. Now this is a very difficult rare to get for some reason, so it's pretty good I guess. And we have, nope, no co just a common in this one, I mean just a rare. Oh, and we have a short print, Extra Net. This is a really cool card, I'm just going to read it to you. If a monster is special summoned from the extra deck, the opponent of the player that conducted the special summon can apply this effect. Draw on card. So this is a pretty good side deck card against um, Synchro decks and any deck that really special summons a lot of monsters from the extra deck. So this makes your opponent think twice about summoning Synchros. So yeah, it's a pretty cool card to get. I know it's a short print, so <clears throat> was hoping to get that one actually. And now moving on, I think I covered the comments enough, so I'm just going to skip right through them. But I'm going to show you which one, I mean, what comments I did get. Illusion Balloons, <clears throat> Necros Cycle, another good rare, and we have, ah, uh, nothing, just a Zen Mayday. Pendulum Shift, um, Blaze Acceler Accelerator Reload, also a good comment to get, I guess. <clears throat> moving on, we have, let's see. Six more packs to go. Only one foil so far. But can we make it? Two foils. Uh, Soul Piercer. Raidoraptas, Vanishing Uranius. Sorry, I just had to say this. Infernoid Satsumas. Uh, Dance Princess of the Necros. Echo Oscillation. Wow. I'm really doing bad with these. Um, Yuna Zombie. This is a good comment to get. I was looking for this one, actually. It's for my zombie deck to be uh, okay moving on can we get another hollow please raid raptor readiness level lifter perform a pal something something 
Doggy Diver. Oh, Void Seer. Nice. I was actually hoping to get one of these. This is the uh, super rare quick play for the Infernoids. Sort of like their own version of Infestation Pandemic. Um, target one Infernoid monster you control. That target is unaffected by your opponent's card effects this turn. If an Infernoid monster or monsters you control will be destroyed, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead of destroying one of these monsters. I actually have one of these, and I think we need three to build a deck, so... Each one of these will be welcome. So this is a pretty good uh, super rare to get, I guess. <clears throat> the bad thing is, I mean, the good or bad thing is, all the super rares are actually promos in the special editions. So their prices are really not that high. But still, out of all the super rares, these two are what I'd say I want to get. So, Banishing Uranius again. Uh, Koaki Mario Overload, a good rare to get. Go 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 Golem, Golden Form, Toy Knight, nah, nah, nah. nothing special. Moving on. Can we get an Infernoid Harma deck, please? That will give me hope that I would actually be able to build an Infernoid deck. Because without him, it's not just it's just not gonna happen. Oh, Sky Cavalry Centuria, nice. This is by far one of the best rank 2 monsters now. How this works is, it requires 2 level 2 monsters, cannot be destroyed by battle while it has XYZ material. At the end of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, return the opponent's monster from the field to the hand. So basically you have a 2000 attack beat stick that, would, uh, that is immune to uh, being destroyed by battle as long as it has XYZ materials. So you just crash into things and you bounce them back to the extra deck without targeting. So it's awesome. If this was a rank 4, it'd be super expensive, but... It's still a very good card for like raccoons and stuff, maybe fraud monarchs, I don't know. Anything that can make rank twos. Some other comments. Yeah, I'm so far I'm happy with these, but I really want to end it with an Ananku or a Harmadic. So please, heart of the cards. Can we get Infernoid Harmadic? Performa Pal, Muffle Ryan. Redoraptas, Readiness. Atondel. Patrulia and whoa, super heavy samurai flutist, another super rare. We seem to be have, having a great luck getting the uh, Provo super rare. So uh, I guess this is a good card for the super heavy samurai. I don't know what it does, and I don't really want to read it. So I'm just gonna put it here. I don't think this is one of the uh, better super rares, at least not in this set. So okay, and the last pack of Destiny. Can we get something else that is not a super rare? <laughs> I guess I can't complain. I did get Sky Cavalry uh, Centuria. That is a ultra rare. So, Constellar Twinkle, Super Heavy Samurai, something, something. Oh, it's an ultimate rare. And we have Satellar Knight Constellar Diamond. Oh, I really love this card. I featured it a few days ago in my Constellar deck, and I got the exact same rarity that I have. But that is awesome. Um, if you don't know what it does, watch my Constellar video. I don't want to repeat myself, but it's an awesome card. It's one of the better ones to get and uh, an ultimate rare, which is just amazing. So yeah, we were able to end it with a good hollow. So I'm, I'm really grateful. Zen Mayday, Toy Knight. Okay. <clears throat> and now moving on to the Secret Forces. Now, there's lots of good cards in this, but we all know what the cards... Um, what we want to pull, and that is Bryanak, Trishula, or Valkyrus. Valkyrus being the best one. So yeah, in Europe, first you get the secret rare, then you get the four uh, super rares. So I'm just gonna flip it like this and go from the super rares to the secret rares because I figured the secret rare is the um, one that counts. So I'm just gonna look away because you can sometimes see the reflection. So yeah, that can give you a first super rare. You send you Shinchu R. That one's not really good. Not played. Oh, Royal Decree. I actually have no Royal Decrees, so I was hoping I'd get a play set of these or at least two. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna halfway there. Uh you send you secret move, their counter trap, pretty good for your Senjus. Uh one of the ritual jins. This one really isn't played, so doesn't really matter. And can we get a Valkyris? No, it is a Yosenju Misak. Still pretty good. I did get a um, Royal Decree, so I cannot complain. <clears throat> Just going to put these over here. And then later maybe we'll do a re recap or something. Second pack. Come on, Valkyris. <clears throat> uh, Gishki Shadow. <laughs> One of the cards that I love using because I have a Gishki deck. And this is a reprint, so yeah. 
Uh, I don't really need any more Gishki Shadows, but still. <laughs> Gishki Noelia. Yeah, this is this is because I play Gishki. That's why I'm pulling them. Card Card D. Nice. I don't have a Card Card D, so pretty cool pull, I guess. Uh, we have a Jin Releaser of Rituals. Now, out of all the Ritual Jin, this is the only one that's actually played. If you don't know what this does is... If you use this to ritual summon a monster, you can banish it from the graveyard. You don't have to send it from your hand to the grave. And as long as the ritual summoned monster is on the field, uh, your opponent cannot special summon monsters. So this is an awesome card. It is the famous Jin Lock that Necros use alongside with Necros of Clausalas. So unfortunately, it's not a very um, expensive card, but still not one of the nicer super rares to pull. And what will this card be? Whoa, it is... Ritual Beast Tamer when it's the one that special summons banished monsters. So yeah, I don't really uh, like the Ritual Beast. I mean, not that I don't like them, they're just not my playstyle. So all of these cards will probably be traded away. Now let's see, pack number huh, three or four. I lost count. Sorry. We have Soul Release. Nice to see this as a super rare. Still a useful card. Vanity's Emptiness, nice. Now, I was expecting this to be like a super short print, but I've seen people pull a lot of these, so this is actually now very easy to get, so. Still a good card uh, for Trade Fodder, I suppose. Abyss Dweller, another nice one. So this is a really good pack. Abyss Dweller and Vanity's Emptiness. But can we make it even better? Soul Absorption and... Whoa, Necros of Catastor. No, this is the one that isn't played, but still looks kind of cool. It's the dragon Necros guy with a Catastor armor, so how can you not love that one? We still have a lot of packs to go. I don't feel like counting, so... Well, let's see if we'll get some good super rares. Uh, we have the Great Sorcerer of the Necros. I know this one really isn't played, but... It looks cool. It's actually Gishki Advance in his Elder Mode. Aquamirror Cycle, another Gishki card. Soul Absorption. Ritual Weapon, something for Ritual Monsters. And we have a... Necros of Clausalus. Uh, this one actually is played. It's the one that searches out the other uh, Ritual spells. So, pretty decent secret rare, I suppose. Could be worse, it could be a Senju Misak or something. <laughs> Moving on, we have another Vanity's Emptiness. Wow. I wish this was a 3 because now with these two I would have a complete playset. <laughs> yeah. Still a nice super rare to get. Uh, oh, and here we have a Shrit, Strategist of the Necros. This is the one of one of the rare monsters that is actually an effect monster and that is played. So what this does is if it's tributed, it adds a Necros warrior monster from your deck to your hand, I suppose. So I know that people play this one. Uh, great Sorcerer of the Necros. Um, Spiritual Beast Apelio. A pretty cool card. Looks like a little lion cub. And can we get a Valkyris? No, but it is a Necros Kaleidoscope. This is the one that special summons, I mean, the ritual summons monsters using monsters from the extra deck as the tribute. It's a very good card. Unfortunately, like most of the Necros card, it is not expensive. Oh, here we have a Fire Formation Tanky, super rare. Nice. So we have three gold rares, but still, seeing it as a super rare is nice. Ritual Beast Bond. I don't know what this does. I'm just going to skip right through that one. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the Ritual Beast. Another one of the Jins. This one also isn't used. Um, but yeah, I guess if I pull all of them, at least I have a collection of Jins. Uh, Yosenju Shinshu L. Now this is the one they actually play because um, it can destroy itself in place of one of your um, Yosenju monsters. And as long as this is on the field, you have a condition to activate their counter traps. So it's pretty cool, I guess. Come on. Uh, no, actually this is a good card. Yosenju Kama 1. So I'm not going to complain. This, this is a free compulsory evacuation device every turn. So you just target one of your opponent's monsters and you bounce it back into the hand. Pretty cool effect for a level 4 monster. Can't complain on that one. But like I said, we all know what the uh, best cards in this set are. I'm not going to lie. Of course I want to pull one of the uh, more expensive ones. Shinchu. Yosenju something something. Training ground. This is one with the spell counters and stuff, I think. Another Shinchu. Well, I don't know if people play too, but... And we have... <laughs> Another Yosenju comma one. 
Well, uh, I suppose I started off wanting to build Infernoids, but maybe I'll build the Yostenju in the end, seeing as I've pulled all of their better cards, I guess. We still have six more packs to go, I mean seven if you count the one in my hand. Ascending Lost Soul. Soul Release. Advanced Ritual Art, a very nice card. I know this was played in the uh, Herald of Perfection decks. Gishki Chain, and is it gonna be a Ritual Monster? Ah, uh, no, actually this is good. Uh, Ritual Beast, Alti Apelio. I know this is one of their better cards. Basically this is like Armadis. If he attacks, your opponent cannot activate anything, so... Pretty good card. This is the one they use for offense, mostly. The Dolphin is there to protect him, and the uh, Canna Hawk, or whatever he is, is there to set up the plays and stuff. Now I'm running out of space, so I'm gonna put them here. A lot of cards. Oh, here is the Pink Dolphin. This is the uh, star of the uh, Secret Forces. Who doesn't like Pink Dolphins? Another Shrit. I heard this was actually short printed as far as Super Rares go, but I seem to be having luck with it. Advanced Ritual Art. Gishki Chain, and is it gonna be a Necroz? Uh, no, it's actually a Mayo Senju Dieback. Now, I think this card's uh, pull ratio is about the same as Bryanak and Valkyrus, but unfortunately it's not as expensive. Still, it's a pretty good card, and it seems like I'm going to be building your Senju. The cards have chosen me. I'm supposed to use um, Japanese weasel monsters <laughs> to annoy people. I guess there are um, worse decks out there, so yeah. Ritual Beast. Deeds, this is a pretty good trap. Pops monsters, doesn't target. Uh, another Abyss Dweller, good trade fodder. Apelio, who doesn't appeal to me. Gishki Vision, ah, oh, how many times? This card brings back so many memories. How many times have I searched Gishki Zeal Gigas with this? My fellow League members probably know better than I. And we have, whoa, it will send you comma three. Like I said, it's. It's all about the Yosenju. Now if I can pull two more of these and Yosenju, comma, the other one. That'd be a complete Yosenju deck, I guess. Okay, let's see what else. Card, card, D. Okay, not bad. I'll take that. Another Jin releaser of rituals. A Jin disarrayer of rituals. Well, this pack is all about the Jinns, and Jin Curse Chanter of the Ritual of Rituals. And we have... No, oh my god, this is the biggest troll, Necroz of Unicorn, because it looks so similar to Valkyrus. So every time somebody tries to pull this, we all assume it's Valkyrus, but no, it's Unicorn. But the plus side is this is actually a usable monster, so... Come on, three packs left. Can we get something that's super expensive? Another Jin Disarrayer of Rituals. Another Cursed Chanter of Rituals. I have so many Jins, I can build a Jin army. Uh, Ritual Cage. Ah, oh, this is a good card. Uh, Burial from a Different Dimension. A quick play that returns three banished monsters to the graveyard. I know, And it's actually limited to one. I know zombies play this and Inferno. It's a pretty good card. So, And we have another Necros of Unicorn. Wow. Lovely. Now I have two. Now can I please get a Bryanak, a Trishula, or a Valkyrus? Please. Two more packs left. Uh, okay, so... Soul Absorption, Ritual Weapon, Vanity's Emptiness number 3, okay, we have broken the uh, card, and I have more than a playset, so yeah. A Jin Cursed Chanter of Rituals, I think I put like 5 of these, and last but not least, we have Ritual Beast, Alti Apelio, another one, at least I didn't get Ritual Beast Mega Pink Dolphin which I'm sure is waiting for me in this final pack. Okay, you guys, this is the last pack. I'm gonna do this like this, okay? Flip it like this, another vanity's emptiness. Oh my God. Like, maybe I'm so vain that I'm pulling so many vanity's emptiness. I don't know, is, are the cards trying to send me a message or something? Soul release, 
Fire Formation Tanky, Ritual Beasties. And what is the last card going to be? Oh, it's a Ritual. And it has... Oh my god, is this something good? No, it's Necros of Decisive Armor. Oh my god, why did you troll me, Necros of Decisive Armor? But there you have it, guys. Uh, no Valkyris and no Trishula and no Bryanak, but at least we got an almost complete Yosenju deck. So yeah, I'm just going to do a quick recap of the better cards. We have one Constellar. So Teller Knight, Constellar Diamond, a card that I really like. I didn't really need a second copy, but yeah. Super Heavy Samurai Flutist. Sky Cavalry Centuria. Void Seer. And Good and Evil in the Burning Abyss. And as far as these go, um, it this is a mess. I should have been more um, organized. But yeah, you've all seen what I pulled. Like, there's no reason for me to go back and uh, repeat all the stuff. We pulled a lot of Vanities, Emptinesses, a lot of Jins, and a, a lot of Japanese Weasels. So, yeah. Uh, this has been Blight. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing. I sure had fun. So, yeah, I hope to do more of these in the future, assuming I win more of tournaments and stuff. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys later. Bye-bye.